Hello everyone, my name is Ryan and in this quick video I will show you how to install and run Dragon Age Inquisition on Linux if you purchased it through Steam. Now I have previously covered the running of this game before on this channel, however at the time I was using Lutris as this game was not available on Steam. So the installation process is pretty straightforward. First of all, all you need to do is install Steam and you'll typically use that using your package manager, either using a software store or through the terminal. Once you've installed Steam, all you need to do is launch it, sign to your account, and what you'll find is by default, you will not be able to install the game. And the reason for this is that the game has not been officially whitelisted by Valve as Proton compatible. However, this can be easily resolved by enabling Proton to work with all the other games in your library. To do that, you go to Steam, Settings, Steam Play, and under the Advanced section, Make sure you've ticked the Enable Steam Player for all of the titles. Click OK and then restart Steam and then you'll find you'll be able to install the game. So in terms of the installation process, it's identical to how you do on Windows. You click Install and then just let it do its stuff. However, if it is the first time you've actually installed this game and you've linked to an EA Origin account, then you'll be prompted to sign into that. Either way, once the game's installed, launch it. Just one thing to note about Origin, sometimes it's a bit funny the first time you launch the game, as what you'll get is a message about the game location not being available, however if you ignore that, you'll find that the game will launch anyway. I also recommend that you disable the right access to the Origin folder, as doing so will reduce any stuttering that can occur when Origin decides to write to that folder, and it's usually during gameplay. So to do that, if you right click on the game, go to Properties, Local Files, Browse local files, and in my particular setup, it's found at home, Steam, Debian installation, Steam apps, compact data, and there's a series of digits here, EFX, Drive C, Users, Steam user, Application data, and here's the origin folder here. So if we open up a terminal, and you want to type in the following, Chmod, minus capital R space dash locus W and then the word origin. So what we're going to do is we're going to move right access to that particular folder. So press enter to confirm and there you go, that's all you need to do. So in terms of performance, over about 30 plus hours of me playing and recording a walkthrough series for this game on this channel, I found that the game runs at a steady 1080p 60fps for me, and that's using the Ultra Settings preset. Now I will note that the game has crashed on me a total of 4 times, but whether this was due down to Proton, Linux, or even just the game, I'm unsure of the reason for that. One thing I will say is the game does have this annoying bug where your companions will sometimes stand still and stop attacking. And this is actually a game specific bug and it also exists on Windows as well. So I can't blame Linux or Proton for that. It is annoying and it does tend to get quite frustrating if you're in like a tough battle fighting against the high dragon, uh, especially on the high difficulties anyhow. But I mean, the solution's easy enough. All you need to do is switch to the character, press the jump key and they'll spring back into action. Aside from that, the game's a decent experience when you run it, on, run it on Linux. So with that, brings this video to an end. As always, feel free to get in touch if you have any questions. And if you did find this video helpful, please do consider leaving a like and subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! Yeah,